It's all about REST APIs, find out how much more you can do with Workload Scheduler. When you go about your daily activities, REST APIs are all over the place. They're just behind the scenes, working around the clock to make your life easier. Ever wonder what allows you to shop online, chat, book a seat at a restaurant? Or buy the tickets for your next vacation with just a few clicks? It's the REST APIs, which seamlessly integrate different applications into a well-orchestrated workflow. You can also view REST APIs as building blocks which developers integrate into their code, to automate routine tasks. Now, just imagine what you can do with the APIs provided by such a powerful product as Workload Scheduler. They are based on the same code used internally by the product and provide full control of all functionalities, both distributed and ZOS. Advantages of REST APIs are almost too many to mention, they're simple and do not require installation. They are reliable, secure, and stable. They stay compatible through different releases. You can use them remotely and in the language of your choice, not just JavaScript, but also Python, Swift, and so on. Use them the right way and you may never have to change your code. You can easily incorporate into your code our REST APIs which provide scheduling and automation capabilities without having to study and understand the code. See just how easy it is to perform one of the most popular operations in Workload Scheduler, adding a job to the model and then submitting it. Access the Swagger UI installed on your master domain manager and browse through the available categories. To add a new job, you want to use the post model job definition operation. You have full access to the creation of all job types. In this case, the only required parameter is the job definition. Copy and paste the template into an editing field, where you can customize it. And when you're done, just click the Try It Out button to have the request sent to the Workload Scheduler Master. If the server response is as expected, your implementation is correct and the job is added to the model. You can now use your code. For example, you can integrate it into your existing application to automate the creation of a job definition. By the same method you can define an API to submit the job you have created, rerun it, submit a job stream and perform any of the operations Workload Scheduler can schedule. You can find all the information you need at this link.